And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Thursday morning, the 29th of September, and the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. If we go straight to the book of Acts, chapter 22, and verse 15. For you will be his witness to all men of what you have seen and heard. And then, of course, we go to Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And that is exactly what Paul the apostle did when he was born again on the road to Damascus. Now, remember, he was not a preacher. He was not a minister. No, he was a tent maker. He was a tradesman, but he had had an experience with Jesus Christ. No, you don't have to go to Bible college first. Just tell the world what Jesus means to you. It's the so-called little stories that move the hearts of the men in the street. Yes, it is wonderful to read about the parting of the Red Sea and an entire nation going through on dry land. It is wonderful to hear about Lazarus being raised from the dead. But many folk Ordinary folk like you and I cannot always identify with those massive miracles. But I want to tell you <laughs> about a little miracle, which I think was a huge miracle. And it happened on Saturday at the Speak Jesus National Prayer Meeting. I got the message yesterday. One of the ushers who was very busy showing people the way back to their motor cars after the meeting was given a set of Mercedes-Benz keys that had been picked up by somebody on the road. He put the keys in his pocket. He meant to get onto the loud hailer and tell people that he has the keys, but he got so busy, it was only about 40 minutes later when he was directing people to their cars that he had a tap on his shoulder. He turned around and a young man was there and said, Sir, have you found any Mercedes-Benz keys? And he put his hand in his pocket. He asked the man to explain what they looked like. The man told him exactly what they looked like. He knew that this was the owner of the keys. And he gave him his keys in the midst of a multitude of people walking towards their cars. This man got very emotional. He said, I have just given my life to Jesus at this meeting. And I was so excited when I was leaving, I lost my keys. And walking through this huge crowd of people, I said to the Lord, Lord, if you are real, the first person that I touch and ask for my keys, they will have them. <laughs> and he did. He touched this usher and the usher gave him his keys back. I want to tell you that that man will never, ever be in any doubt of who the Son of God is. Go and tell the world about your miracle today. Jesus bless you. Goodbye.